I'm going to give you three interesting facts regarding magnesium. We're going to talk about deficiency, we're going to talk about diseases, and we're going to talk about medication interactions. So my name is Dr. Story. I've been a chiropractor for over 26 years. I'm going to give you realistic advice based on my experience and based on the scientific literature. So first let's do deficiency. Number one is deficiency. Who gets deficient in magnesium? This is going to surprise you. Now number two and number three are really interesting, but I, just, I decided to start with this. Number one, people who drink alcohol a lot. It's well known that alcoholics, which would be an extreme example of people that drink alcohol, Basically, alcoholism destroys many things, but it destroys your liver, your pancreas. You get pancreatitis, which is just devastating, and it destroys your kidneys. And it's the kidneys that help uh, get rid of the magnesium in our body. So people that drink a lot of alcohol, they can end up being magnesium deficient. The other thing with deficiency is that people that have certain diseases, like let's say Crohn's disease, type 2 diabetes, diverticulitis. These are diseases that because people tend to excrete more urine and you know number two, they uh, tend to become magnesium deficient. So the number two interesting thing in regard to magnesium is magnesium is a major culprit in some diseases, not others, but when you understand that magnesium is necessary for over 300 different enzymatic functions of our body, it, it makes total sense that uh, a magnesium problem will affect these diseases. So here's ones just off the top of my head that are uh, very common, high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, osteoporosis, and migraines. That's a big one because I'm a chiropractor, I see a lot of patients obviously that have problems, but it's the osteoporosis and the migraines that you could do wonders for people if you can get them on a really good magnesium supplement and change their diet so they get more foods that have magnesium. This is important because a lot of times I always tell patients with migraines that it's a multifactorial uh, type of treatment. It's not like you just take one pill and migraines go away, but if there was a nutritional supplement that could really help, it would be magnesium. You change people's diets, you change people's stress levels, you change the influence of stress on their body, you change the alignment, you change their muscle function, migraines can really be helped. Osteoporosis is important as well simply because uh, when you're adjusting people you need to know how strong their bones are. Diabetes, type 2, high blood pressure, these are things that affect our overall health. So magnesium plays a role in those four different types of conditions. Now the third and final interesting thing about magnesium is the interaction between magnesium and certain medications. This is very, very important because if you're on medications, you want to make sure and not take a magnesium supplement or maybe you should take a magnesium supplement depending on the medication. Just some examples would be antibiotics such as Cipro and Leviquin. Now these are medications that they have their own controversy, but taking magnesium supplements while being on those types of medications can interfere with the function of those medications. So very often when you're on those medications, you want to not eat foods that have a lot of magnesium and definitely do not take magnesium supplements. Then on the other hand of the equation, there are diuretics, there are uh, proton pump inhibitors, and these are medications where you may need to ask your doctor if you need to take a stronger magnesium supplement because these drugs actually deplete our body of magnesium, so it's vital that you try to replenish those because magnesium deficiency can cause all sorts of problems. Magnesium deficiency can give you muscle problems, it can give you nerve problems such as numbness, tingling all over the body, you can have muscles that contract at the wrong time and have difficulty contracting. And this just doesn't go for your skeletal muscles, it goes for your heart as well. Your heart is a muscle. Uh, magnesium deficiency can give you problems with energy, it can give you problems with blood sugar regulation. There's all sorts of problems that can occur if you're magnesium deficient. 
So those are just three subjects that are kind of interesting in relation to magnesium. Now, no one wants to be magnesium deficient, but interestingly enough, 70% of Americans are deficient in magnesium. So I personally take a magnesium supplement and I've tried different ones throughout the years. This is the one I'm taking now called Magnesium Breakthrough. This is actually a really good one. And what I'll do is I'll put a link down below in the description if you wanna look at this product. Uh, there's a discount code, you can look at that. See if you like it, see if it's right for you. The reason why I like it is because it has seven different types of magnesium formulations in this one product. And that's good because some people will absorb different magnesiums more than others. Uh, some magnesiums, magnesiums will digest quicker than others and be absorbed quicker, and that's important. So what I do personally is I take two magnesium uh, tablets at nighttime. The reason why I do this is because there's an added benefit of magnesium. It relaxes your muscles, it relaxes your nervous system, it calms you down, it helps you sleep. And that is actually why I take it at nighttime because I'm a little bit of a wired guy. So I take it at night, it helps you sleep. The benefit of sleeping well is you, that you get that deep rapid eye movement sleep, and so the next morning when you wake up, you are very refreshed. So that's the magnesium supplement that I'm taking, and again, link down below, you can get a discount if you want, look at it, at least look at the uh, link and see if this particular one would be right for you. And of course, always ask your doctor, you know, is uh, our vitamins and minerals healthy for me? You'll, you'll get some interesting responses. But if you like my videos, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification. It's lunchtime. I am gonna go eat some foods that are high in magnesium.